All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we are gonna be doing the new a new video on my channel here. I thought about doing Dao Chan, but I'm gonna stick with Guan Yu this week uh, or, or week, sure. The Legend of Guan Yu. We're gonna start with him. Uh, we're gonna space out the other characters because I didn't really even realize that the other characters also have Musa modes in this game. So it's kind of cool. So we've beaten the game with Zhao Yun. Great move set. Awesome classic. We beat the game with uh, Zhou Yu, kind of weird moves that, I don't know why they changed him off the Elder Sword if from now on, this is it, he has a bow staff now. And then Shao Dun, which was ridiculous, uh, worst move set in the game so far, absolutely terrible, slow, awful, and nothing like his awesome move set from last game. So, Diao Chan is a whip, so that's fine. Guan Yu has his uh, blue dragon, so he should be awesome. I can't remember his move set at all, but we'll get this going. Thank you guys and gals so much for this. Um, I'll probably talk through this one. I'll actually give insight into the Muso mode stuff. So we'll stop here for now just to let this dialogue go. volunteers to respond to our call because of that we are honored to have been chosen to meet the enemy on the front lines of battle. what do you mean we're honored we might as well go and commit suicide we can get killed fighting on the front lines what does that matter our purpose remains the same we will use all our skill to stop this uprising we require a leader one that would be an inspiration to the people one worthy of our loyalty Master Guan Yu and Master Zheng Fei. Welcome to our force. I am Liu Bei, a direct descendant of Yu Shang, King of Zhongshan. The Imperial Han has asked us to fight against the rebels. Together, we will answer that call. All right, so here we go. We are going to be doing the Yellow Turn Rebellion today. This is, I didn't expect them to throw this level out. So actually, no, I, I, I did. But um, yeah, so let's see what we got going on here. I guess we'll do, some of these horses have terrible stats. What is this untold power that they seem like they're really bad? So let's try one of these slow horses today for Guan Yu. We'll just, we'll just see, because Guan Yu is such a beast that we probably don't need to worry about it. So let's see where Renbu 3 is. Is this Renbu 3? Okay, there it is. So yeah, we'll probably just start here on the skills and go through. I love these skill trees, by the way. Super cool, super unique idea. Um, they nailed it with that. Got a million generals at Heijin's main camp and then a few people starting to break out on each side. Lower a drawbridge in five minutes. That probably means go around to the other side. Defeat those two people and stop the dust in 15 minutes. Win in 20 minutes with Wong Han Fu Song and Zoom Jun in the Yellow Turban main camp. Okay. I guess they hopefully will go in there. That's going to be an interesting one. But yeah, so we'll get this going. There are three routes to the enemy leader Zhang Jiao, but an enemy will no doubt use various means to impede us. Men, man can be a resourceful beast. Yeah, sure. Provide steadfast assistance to your allies. Keep our forces high in morale. So yeah, we're going to run straight through that camp on the left here. And we're going to just go straight to the drawbridge guy and destroy that guy. So this is Guan Yu. Guan Yu, fortunately, they didn't change his weapon. That would be, like, super ridiculous if they did that. Fortunately, they did not change his move set in this game. He still has the blue dragon. It would be weird if he, like, randomly had a different weapon now. 
So we're gonna move over to um, we're gonna move over to this dude right here, and we're gonna get rid of him. See what he can do. And so I'm getting texts, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna come over here, get rid of Deng Mao. Actually, do we have to get rid of Deng Mao, or can we just we'll stab this thing? Oh, we can. This is awesome. Okay, well, I'll still get rid of this dude in a second, but we're just gonna get build up our Renbu here, might as well. All right, so he actually kind of looks like he has other people's move sets. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of him. And now there's a whole bunch of other people here. Let's get rid of all these dudes that are standing right here now. And we'll just kind of keep moving along. So, no, he. I don't know if he has a different. I thought that the generic officers had this move set too. I don't actually know though. We'll we'll get back to that. I don't actually know. Um. All right. So we got rid of all these people. Here we go. And we'll keep moving. Actually, I'm gonna go back over here and help out these people. Seems like the yellow turbines would lose this. This seems like a really stupid idea for the yellow turbines, but it turns into an even fight for some reason. Okay. Yeah, the yellow turbines are like slaying people. Interesting. Well, I went the wrong way here, so let me go ahead and first help out all these people. Because that cutscene was interesting. It basically made it look like the yellow turbines were just obliterating everybody on our side. But I don't think that's actually happening. That was just that was just a cutscene that was for flashiness. But um There's Lou, whatever that dude's name is. And then Bojang is gone too, so there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up some of these experience thingies. Didn't pick up yet. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back up and help out these two sides. Let me drop a quick save in case I'm running low on time here. I think we're doing fine. We're gonna have to get up to the front, the top area, and eventually defeat everybody up there to stop the dust in 15 minutes. But yeah, this is this is a good game. I mean, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, like I don't hate this game. Where? How do I get? How did I even do this? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I was like, how did I get to this? Why would they make this unnecessarily complicated? It's beyond me, but they did. So it's fine. But yeah, no, this game isn't terrible. It's just weird. It's a weird game because they changed a lot of things that I didn't feel like needed to be changed. Like changing people's movesets, I just, I never would understand why they did that. I don't get the point of something like that, but they did. And it was strange. And it, I guess it made sense just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But like, again, they're just, they changed the game so much based solely on like people who never played this game had negative things to say about this game. And so as a result, they were like, all right, we'll change like everybody's move sets. Like that's kind of a weird idea. I don't know why they were like, this is what we need to do. But the Rambo thing is weird, but again, it's not terrible. I think I just wonder why they did everything they did. All right, so what's happening here? There's the dust. All right, that's up. I knew that that was going to happen eventually. I wasn't super worried about that. And yeah, the altar's in the base. Again, like, they have to kind of do something like that to make it where it's not just impossible. Some of the weapons, some of the moves or magic-y things they do, like, have no counter, and it feels so, so, un like, stupid to me. All right, so I'm going to help out with this base. I thought there was a general here, but there's not... So I'll just take out some of these corporals that take off 20. You need to get killed. This guy's like randomly not dying. There we go. And so we're gonna keep working on this. 
But um, yeah, no, I think this game is fine. I think it's it's just some of the stuff that they tried in this game didn't really make any sense. But the the move sets aren't all bad, honestly. It's just, are you gonna stop blocking me? Is this dude? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's one of the little tome. What is the uh, swift attack? That's the thing where he gets infinite rim boost. So we'll be able to see Guan Yu's entire move set in like two seconds whenever I do this. So. Um, we have to take down, who do we need to take down? Zhang Liang and Zhang Mong Chang. So we basically have to advance up each side of the level. So I'll go ahead and start advancing on this far right side since they were behind. The left side is already in the uh, castle over there. And then Han Fu Song and Zun Jun, who we need to have to get into the castle, they're just standing in front of the dust. So that's not that scary. I was afraid that they were going to like die or something like that. Obviously, if either of those two people die, it's kind of over. Like, their that ability that uh, that target totally falls apart if we lose our if we lose the people we're trying to target. So let's go ahead and just muso because I want to get through this gate. And now let's go ahead and drop our tome just so I can see his move set. So swinging, swinging, that and explosions, and we get a whole bunch of uh, experience doing this. Everybody we kill gives like little little tiny things of experience, which is pretty cool. And unfortunately we didn't get rid of Zhang Yan in that moment, but that's fine. So let's see, where are all the things? So there's one of the 50s. There was a special thing there. There's the other 50 and then we can pick up all these little tens and they basically get us another few bit of experience here, which is pretty cool. Again, I loved this. This is, I mean, stuff about Dynasty Warriors 6 that isn't terrible is like, they really did think of some interesting ideas here. And one of them was like having your, like doing special attacks give you experience for however many people you do. Like again, there's strategy there because then you have like, you can get like tons of experience just using your tome at the right time, which is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy who have never seen the name of that name before. And again, he's probably gonna die in two seconds because I'm strong, yes, he is dead. And we're going to move over here and work on this guy up here. They've taken the far base too, which is good. So I'm helping the side that is not my ally. I'm pretty sure Zheng Fei went the other way, which they're probably saying, why didn't you go that way? I'm like, well, because I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep them equal. All right, we got flame batteries up in there, which is fine. Um, but yeah, no, this is, this is not a bad game to me. Uh, it still has, I mean, as I've said before, and I'll, I'll say this in a lot more detail in the review, but it's like, this game still has the soul of like a Dynasty Warriors game where you got some good voice acting, you got some good music, you got some good, like pretty much everything about this game is very, very good. But the problem was the Rembu system made everybody really mad, which like, again, people just react stupidly to stuff like that, but, and the AI also sucks, like, Look at this. I can't even do anything. All right, I'm going to just murder this stupid lieutenant. I hate the lieutenants in these games. I started bringing these people into games. I hate the lieutenants because they don't give you anything if you kill them. They literally are completely worthless to fight, but they do so much damage to you as the player. Like, they can murder your face. They do so much, and they don't drop anything. If they dropped, like, experience or something like that, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. But they literally don't do anything like that. It's very stupid. So that just seems like a waste of time. Like just, just give them some, give me something for having me kill these people because they are like, they actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> so, all right, one down, flame battery has stopped functioning. And so now let's come over here. Let's work on the Ma Yong Yi and this guy. Let's go ahead and drop our little thing because we got a lot of people here. And if we kill a general, he drops like a full 200 or so that's pretty cool. Um, Let's go ahead and try to kill this guy. Let's see if we can get both. Okay, I didn't get the other one, but I think I got rid of the other. So we'll just fill up all on all this stuff here. Tons of items here. So did I get rid of one of the two, I think Zhang Mun Chang was one, and then Zhang Liang is the other one. He's way over there. So let's see if I can, I guess what I'll have to do is, all 
All right, what I'm gonna do is, how much time do I got, by the way? Let's see, I have to do that in 15 minutes. And let me drop a quick, let me drop, drop a quick save right here. I don't think this is the best time to drop a save, but we'll be fine. And then we'll come rushing up to this gate. <clears throat> I'm gonna move so because there's a freaking lieutenant behind me and they do so much damage. And then we're gonna keep working on this thing. Let's try to practice other moves here. So that's that's the simple one. I really don't like how some of this but this is the thing about this game though, is some of the moves are not good. Like this, the charge attack grab is really not the best idea unless they're like super, really, they're super powerful, but they're, they're literally not. Like that's the problem is these like grabs that are supposed to be like heavy grabs, they kind of suck and they don't really do anything. And you just can get exploited by the AI. Like you're willingly putting yourself in a position where, oh, oh well, didn't need to do what I did. That's fine. So we're gonna come running all the way around. And we're gonna take out this other general who's over here. We have less than five minutes to take out Zhang Liang who is right here. I think I can just run through this gate because I'm coming from the enemy side. I think the gate stays open. It doesn't close. Um, and then it'll close behind me, which I, I don't care if it does that. I'm literally not trying to, I don't really care about those things. So I'm gonna come running over here and help them out with Zhang Liang, who's right here. Again, notice that he has the same move set, which is kind of cool that they finally did this. They gave Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao staffs in this game. It's kind of a unique idea, and it makes complete sense to me, because they're freaking like wizards in this game. So let's try to kill this guy. Don't you run away from me. All right, did I take them both down? I think I did. Let's get rid of this random dude who here, who I don't even know, Beyond C. I don't know what you were trying to do. We got phantoms everywhere. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy right here. Let's wipe out this northwest gate here. We're just obliterating it with Zheng Fei here. I'm going gonna, gonna to let them handle it because we've already got... Who's in the camp? It was... They're in there. So we got to just basically win right now without losing those two people. Again, I love the targets. Targets were really, really cool in this game. I thought they did a really great job with stuff like this. Um, all right. So we got to make sure we get rid of this stuff. I've yet to even see what um what the heck is that grab. I haven't even done the grab yet. So see if I can hit something. It's really hard to pull off these. Some of these grabs have like the tiniest hitbox, and you're just like, so am I supposed to be able to like make this work? You know, like it's not. But um, oh, he's gonna let it on, light it all on fire. Right, well, I'm just gonna move away from him while he handles that. Let's see if I can grab something. You. Oh, that's terrible. Wow, he just throws the guy. I, usually, like, the heavy grabs, at least there's, like, a ground pound or some sort of, ex, like, AoE effect on it. Um, but that didn't happen. And now I'm just getting hit by this fire attack. Again, that's a cool thing about this game, is they have the... If a, if a magic user uses a fire attack move in the main camp... Here, let me make sure he... Gotta lead all those people back in here because we want to make sure every single general is in this place. Well, I think they're still, it still is the main camp, so I think we're good. Oh, he was about to do something. I don't know what he was about to do, but we stopped him. And there we go. Haven't done yellow turban in a while. This is a good, uh, good time.
He's got a pretty good move set, so we'll we'll keep we'll keep getting into it, and I'll probably talk through his move set again later. But um, it seems good. Lots of AOE, lots of range. That's good to help you build up your Renbu real quick. Stuff like that is good. All right, I'll let it go from here. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. that ruins the land, a blight that harms the people. I see. It would please me greatly if I were allowed to help you in this endeavor, a sword of your noble purpose. Oh. To have even one man such as yourself is worth a thousand. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'll join in with your cause as well. Then here, in this place, let us swear an oath of brotherhood that we shall live and fight and die as one.